Oh my gosh, on both sides. Check it out. I got it on the sprocket side and I got it on the disc brake side. Connected. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Just out for a little ride this evening and I'm using the the all new Senna 50C. See what I get into here. Not a big ride today. Just thought I'd take a couple trails and see where they go. In the Mark Twain. And I wanted to also try out the Senna out here in the woods like this. Now, I was talking about the spider webs too in my last video, so. I could get into a mess of spider webs, that's for sure, but I hope not. I see one right there. Because usually, what in the world, some idiot threw it out a tire there and an idiot threw it out a tire there. And I don't know what this is. Uh, somebody's inner fender. My goodness, what a mess. People are crazy. I think that uh, our forest is their dump. Look at this. Trash all out in there. And then they wonder why we get shut off these trails. Ugh. Sorry to rag on this every time, but it's just so hard not to say something. But hopefully one of you people out there that do this is listening and will change your ways. But it is so easy just to bag it up and take it home. It just makes such a mess. And then... It preserves the forest for us to use in later years. And a lot of the reason the trails have been shut off in Missouri is because of all this ridiculousness. So, please pick up your trash, take it home with you. So, one of the cool things about using this Senna 50C is... I like to be able to just uh, ride and not have to push the button, record, slow down, be careful. You can just actually just say it and say, hey, S, recording, and it starts recording. Very cool. That is. I love it. Actually, the spider webs today ain't as bad as I figured they would be. There are definitely some out here. But it has been getting cooler at nights, which kind of deters the spiders from building, the cooler it is. Not cold, but cool. Because this is my favorite kind of riding. I like the dirt roads too, but this is actually my favorite. Just I don't do as much of it anymore. Uh, mainly because I'm by myself. And just, if something happens... You know, there I'd be out by myself. So, maybe somebody will show up on these days that wants to ride a lot. Harry rides with me sometimes. Uh, but he wants to ride when it cools down. I don't think he's a hot weather person. I definitely don't like it super hot as well, but I'll still do it. I gotta ride, I gotta ride. How am I going to get around this without stepping my foot down on that? And I dang sure don't want to go through the middle of that. That would be a mess. Stick my foot down in that. Be pretty nasty. Uh oh. Saw briar. Not good. Saw briars tear you up. How low can I go? Oh, that wasn't too bad. Uh oh. But I can hear the saw briar in my wheel or something. Yep. And I wound that sucker up. Nice. Oh my gosh, on both sides. Check it out. I got it on the sprocket side and I got it on the 
disc brake side. But I always carry this Leatherman skillet tool. It is the greatest thing ever. I've had lots of Leathermans, Gerbers, all of them. But definitely my favorite is this skillet tool. It's nice, it's lightweight, and I can just uh, carry it in my pocket because it has this belt clip. This ain't an advertisement for it because they didn't send this to me anyway. I actually just purchased it off Amazon. But I will put a link so you guys want to check this out below because the skillet tool is great. And it's great to just carry with you all the time because with the pliers and knife, screwdriver, you know, it's not got a lot of some of the multi-tools. But you can see all the holes in it. That's what makes it lightweight. So I really like this job. It's nice. And just like this right here. Comes in real handy. It's got a good blade too. Goodness gracious, I can get that one out of there. I mean, I wound it up. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. But you don't want to leave that stuff in there for sure. When you get it, you want to get it cut out. Now I've got to get to the other side. Cut all these. Like so. Heck yeah. Thank God for having this on me. And you can actually carry this in your tool bag too. In your tail bag or tank bag. It's small and lightweight. Uh, it ain't going to rust. It's made out of stainless steel. And I'd be real nice. Okay. Whew. Now I warmed up with my helmet on doing that. But I got that junk out of there. Okay, let's get back on the road. Back on the bushwhacking. And that's what it looks like it's turning into because I don't think anybody's been through here in a while. From the looks of all this brush, what the heck is that? Huh. Looks like a it's a helium balloon thing that somebody let go and it landed out here. No telling how many miles it went before it landed out here. I don't know which way to go. One way or the tether. It's not like it's gonna matter. But, like I was saying about riding, I don't get out and do the extreme stuff no more. I try not to, but sometimes I've used... Oops! Caught a stick there and it rolled onto my tire. As you see in some of my videos, sometimes you get to going and you get to going down this hill or something. And you think, oh, I can go a little further. It's not going to be too bad. Well, then once it gets real bad, well, you're kind of already in it. And you're in it until you get out of it. So, you just, well, go... So I run into those once in a while, but even though it's not intentional. It's not a bad trail. Probably not too long. I get to gawking, <laughs> about to run off the trail myself, gawking around at something. Trying to see what that was back there. More junk. Definitely the thing about uh, summertime is all the leaves are out and everything grows up. But I don't care. I like it warm. I think I would do good in warm climate year-round. Arizona. New Mexico. Somewhere out where it's warm all the time. Well, there's a lot of pine cones out here on the ground. Because we're in a bunch of pine trees here. 
That'd be why. I need to carry a chainsaw on me. <laughs> Some kind of a little chainsaw. There's nothing to cancel. That's because I didn't say nothing, stupid. Ooh, there's a bunch of spider webs there. I'm not scared of spiders so much being on me. I don't like spiders. I don't mind snakes, but I don't like spiders. That's not it. I just can't stand the webs all over and getting in your face and everything. And they're all over me now, so I'm definitely getting into them now. The further I go out in here. This one, by the way it lays, it's got to dead end here somewhere. Before long, I would think. Because I went quite a ways through here. Trying to wipe all the webs off of me. But it don't do like Blake and freak out like he does. There's another one. It don't matter. If you hit them, they're going to get on you. It's just the way it is. End of the trail. End of the trail. Spider webs all over me. Poor old Charlotte. And all that work for nothing. The trail probably actually goes on, but it's a mess to get around that. I want to head back out of here anyway because I do have to get home. And get some stuff done. See, there's that spider right there. Look at that dude. Bunch of them orb spiders, usually what they are. They build all over these woods. There's a lot of different types of orb spiders, I think. But Here we go. stand up out here you're ducking all the time because you gotta go under all the tree limbs but I like standing upright as much as I can feel like I got a lot more control there's that log again right through the web just hit it it is like gangbusters. Whew. Wait right across my face. Right in my mouth. It's nice weather lately. Our temperatures dropped from like 100 down to 80s, 82, 85. I like it a lot. I need more areas to explore. Southwest Missouri, Northwest Arkansas. I've explored a lot of it, but it gets where you kind of like can't think of anything else to explore that you haven't seen. But then sometimes I'll get out and get to going. It's like, oh, I've never been here for sure. And find a new one. So there's a lot of places. Ooh, spider right my nose that time. A lot of places all over here. Ooh, here's the brush again. Get down. Get this tractor rolling. Oh, right across saw briar, right across my sock. Thank God. Should have had my boots on, but I didn't. 
I just came from work and I'm wearing my Merrill's Uh-oh, there's that bloody mud hole. And I think I went through here. Yeah, that's where I got into those saw briars, too. <laughs> but, hey, they're not there now. I done took them out last time on the way through there. So, no problemo. Okay, guys, thank you all for watching. Check out my links below. I will link this in a... Turn it. Stupid Siri thought I said something. What was that, a bird egg? Look like a bird egg in the room. That's not nice. I'm not talking to you. But anyway, as I was saying, I don't remember what I was saying. But I'll post a link to this Cinna 50C below and the 10C EVO. But you can check out my Amazon store, the links below too. And uh, see I, pretty much everything that I got on my bike and other stuff on there. I'm back out to the highway now. Oh, that's a different spot than where I came in. Anyway, um, and I'll put that Leatherman Skeletool on there. Thank you all for watching. Click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Catch y'all in the next video. Right on.